everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is going to be a bit of a mess. I have a beauty bay and cult beauty haul, but I don't have the box for the beauty bay bit, but I have the cult beauty one. Oh, there's a thing underneath. Um, so, this box is so heavy. Help, send help. Um, I think I'm going to start with beauty bay just because they're, um, the things are on top, so... Actually, let me just get everything out for a second. It might be easy. Ugh. There we go. My hair's a mess. So, basically, I ordered both of these on the 31st of August, I think. 31st? 30th? last day of august basically because there was an offer on on cult beauty that i'll get into and because <laughs> i had to ow this is the i have so much shit in front of me right now and that's less than what i had in my basket originally it's like 24 items Anyway, I bought the Nikki Tutorials palette. I was going to test this in the video that's coming. Because um, I want to do a video on everything, like at first impressions on some things. But I didn't want to use this because I don't want to... Um, I don't think I can do it justice if I use it as a, in a tutorial. But look. Look at it. It's prettier in real life as well. I am so excited to use Shade Pride because it's like... Ref oh. This formula... I love this formula. And I've seen people use this and I just I'm ready. I'm ready. Like I don't know what I mean I could use I, I mean I've, I'm thinking of sunset, I'm thinking of neutral, I'm thinking of like a bluey green look. I'm thinking of just doing like a like a pastel look with the blue and this shade. But that blue and this oh I mean oh ew, ew is just a right. I just love the packaging as well, like it's sort of glittery. And then also the box is like glittery or oh. anyway that's the first that's the reason why um this this palette is limited i'm just gonna take everything out of the box my bed's a mess i'm packing to go to my boyfriend's later um and i just had to dump everything out of my bag to film the makeup look i've got on my face right now because the bag was in the bottom um with my makeup in it so yeah so my my my, my bed's a mess and i need to clean this later when I film my other video um but yeah I I had to get it because it's limited edition and I just had to okay I'm just gonna shove everything over there uh the next thing I got because I bought that was a little pop socket with Nikki that you get these you get got these free and some of these were signed as well but mine wasn't sadly um they were like really random but I don't mind because I love this palette all the same and I haven't used it yet, but Beauty Base Formula, I love it. I've got the Mimma Mimma Mitchell palette, and I love that palette. I love the fact that this is slim and probably really travel friendly because one side is like a normal mirror, and the other side is like a magnifying mirror, so it's easier to do your eye makeup on the go. Um, yeah. And I got a couple of other freebies because um, I, I'm one of those people that you get tribe points. Um, and I spent my points, so I got one of these. I haven't even opened this yet. This is a Beauty Bay. I might take this to my boyfriend's actually. This is a like a head wrap band thing, um, and you can use it when you're doing skincare and stuff. And you put it around your head. That's what a headband is. It just says Beauty Bay. So I got this for free. Actually, it feels really good, like really good quality. For like a freebie, this is really good, and it doesn't smell that bad. Normally, like, things like this smell really bad, but this smells okay. And then I also got something really handy, and I was going to buy one of these for myself anyway. This is a selfie light. Um, like, it's small. I have already gotten it out of packaging to try it, but it's really small. But you can, like, intensify. And I feel like if I'm doing videos on my floor like I am now, and the lighting's not great, you know, in, like, winter, I feel like that this would be really good and it comes with its own like little charging cable it's just cute um and i was gonna buy myself one anyway but this came for free i was gonna spend more tribe points but i didn't have enough for the, something that i wanted i think i don't even remember what i wanted so yeah um 
I got like, oh, I got this like little pump that thinks it's back to school. Um, it's got some things in it. I mean, I don't really give a shit. And then like my invoice. Um, so I want, I need a new sponge because I'm on, I have like a backup of backup of backups of sponges. My bra wire keeps coming out of my bras. This is the third one that's done it now. Annoying. Um, but I needed a new sponge. This is the Juno and Co velvet sponge. I had a few others in my basket of sponges, like a beauty blender, but I don't know. I'm on my last beauty blender because I bought like a I bought four or five. Not just beauty blenders. There was two beauty blenders in a set and then there was then I had like real techniques ones and then a beauty bay own one, I think. But I wanted to try this. Nikki Tutorials made me buy it. Um, I haven't tried it yet, apparently they're really weird and apparently they're not really worth it, but I thought I'd try it. And another really boring product that's a tool. Recently I bought a new eyelash curler because my other one was shite. But it's one of those ones that it doesn't, you have to like open it yourself and close, like the, this. I needed one, I needed a better one. So this is a Doll Beauty lash curler. It's got a little heart, look how cute. Um, but like one like this where... You can put it in and then it automatically goes out but this one you have to like push out by it's like on oh it's just annoying so i bought a new one and this one's pretty and i wanted to i wanted this one ages ago but i just it wasn't in stock so a new eyelash curler because i'm boring like that um let's get the let's get this the one bit of hair care out the way that i've got this is the amika soul food nourishing mask People recommended this to me. This is 20 quid. I've never spent that much money on a hair product. Well, I have now. Apart from like hair tools, because you know, tools are tools. I keep getting like purpley bits around my neck. Please ignore them. Um, this is just the, what size? 250 mil. I was going to get the massive one, but like I didn't want to spend 30 pounds on a freaking hair product. So I was going to get the shampoo and conditioner for the colour protect range, but I might do that another time, but this smells really nice. I mean, it's got a lid on it, but I've... it smells nice. Anyway, moving on. Let's get the um, Beauty Bay bits out of the way first. So I've got some Beauty Bay own brand stuff. Um, because my Elias Skin mask is running out, I bought a new pink clay mask, but I wanted to try this one for ages. Um, but it was always out of stock. So this is a Beauty Bay clay, Skin and Fix It Clay Mask. Clay Blend and PHA. Um, I'm excited to try this. Look at... It's like solid. And it smells quite nice. Um, I mean, it's not the smell, it's how it performs. I want to try the Sand and Sky one as well. Um, but there's a mini in some in somewhere in my Cop Beauty order. So I want to try that first. But yeah, I thought just because it's back in stock. And my Lia Skin one, I think I've got like two uses left in it i love that one and then they recently come out beauty Bay have recently come out with highlighters and lip glosses so i bought three highlighters in just the beauty base side of this and then i bought one in the cold beauty i'm obsessed this is in the shade flash i don't like the packaging as much but i've got other makeup on my hand as well but like hello it's a little bit glittery but and it's a little bit like i'm so hungry right now <laughs> but um it's a little bit um it's it's quite white which i wasn't expecting but it's worth a shot it's 550 and then i got one of the lip glosses this is in the shade i think it's the shade mocha i think i got Sorry, hang on i haven't tried this out yet i'll try it out in my video well, yeah, it's literally the only thing I got. Mocha, this is what it looks like. Um, they smell nice. I've already opened I've already opened everything by the way and like either given it a sniff or just tried it on my hand. Moving on, I let's do another skincare item. I've literally just got skincare man. This is this has been in my basket for months. Because there was a Beauty Bay blog and someone recommended this. This is the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Detoxifying and Hydrating White Charcoal Mud Mask. It's got a sponge, which I didn't expect. I haven't used this yet. I will let you know how it goes at some point. Um, I then got <laughs> so 
so I basically wanted a load of sheet masks and you'll see why in a minute but this was cool this is like half price it's normally like 11 pounds I think it was five pounds this is the yes two tomatoes detoxifying um charcoal paper mask beauty box there are 10 in here um but you open it like this I and mean, I haven't broken the seal or anything yet but like I opened it like this to see and it's literally like it looks like a packet of wipes in there or something but now this won't close properly it just keeps opening so that's always fun and then I got okay I'm gonna do the other masks in a minute I got the Revolution 10% Niacinamide and 1% Zinc Blemish and Pore Refining Serum. Skincare by Hiram has taken over my bloody life. And I couldn't find the, the ordinary ones out of stock everywhere. Cult Beauty, Beauty Baits, bloody boots everywhere. And this is the only one I could find. But apparently it's not that different according to some people. So I might give it a go. I've got another serum on the go at the moment. I might try it as well i then have not one not two but too many face masks oh actually no that's this is a freebie because i spent so much money on yes to this is just their unicorn peel off mask i have tried this before in the full size i have it so i've got hang on one two three four five. i got six sheet masks <sighs> there was more in my basket there was like 10 I got the uh, Yes 2 Watermelon Light Hydration Super Fresh Paper Mask. I got the Saturday Skin Spotlight Brightening Mask. By the way, these are just because they were on probably on offer or they looked cool. I then got the Holoka Holoka Pomegranate Juicy Mask. I then got the, these are, this is the OK Acai Berry Sheet Mask. This one is nourishes and rejuvenates and locks in moisture i love that they say use daily on these ones i don't know why and then i got the what brand was this one i think this is holoka holoka again you know i can't tell it's all in korea oh yeah holoka holoka pure essence lemon and then i got the okay um hyaluronic acid with vitamin b3 and c kelp hydrogel mask this one's firms and plumps clings to skin it's like one of those ones that's like half and half. I will be right back. I need to pee. <laughs> I'll see you in about five. Sorry. Um, I went to pee and then I'd order McDonald's and it had arrived. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I'm running upstairs. Whew. Right, where did I get to? The masks. Oh, I finished using I finished talking to you guys about the masks. Okay, I've got a skincare device and three makeup items. I think I'll do the three makeup items first because the um, skincare device was expensive. It wasn't the most expensive it could have been, but I then got the Please Don't Come For Me. It was half price and I wanted to try it for a while and I'm only going to buy this once unless I really like it and then I'll probably buy it again. This is the Magic Star Concealer. Um, we all know what's happened with Jeffrey recently. <sighs> I got it in C8. I want to. I wanted to try it. I might hate it, but people were saying it was good, so I want to try it. I think that's why I sniff things. I don't know. Right, that's that. Let's uh, not. And I already have stabbed myself with the uh, the top, so you know. And then I've got two hot more highlighters. One I've had in my basket for ages, so I'll keep that to last the last highlighter and this one i've wanted for a while excuse me but i wasn't sure this is the nabla skin glazing highlighter in i cannot oh ozo um i have opened this i have swatched all of these things all these highlighters by the way Yeet. this is what it looks like in the packaging i thought it was gonna be too dark but then you open it up and it's really nice and look at the texture and I mean it's not like the most blinding highlight you ever did see but it's my sort of it's my sort of highlighter um where it's like everyday wear where it's sort of like 
your skin but better i mean i wanted to go all out my lips are dry from this lipstick and just in general and then the last highlighter i got was the milk cosmetics um stargazer digital dust highlighter i wanted this for ages but it's like 30 quid but i then did spend like 30 quid on a blush so i mean it's just really nice packaging i mean look watch this i didn't i mean kind of annoying but this is what it looks like what did i say the shade was stargazer look how pretty the packaging is do you see why i've wanted this for a while but look that is my kind of highlighter where it's like wet look hang on i'm gonna swatch it somewhere else Where it's just it's sort of gold it's sort of not it's not too white it's just perfect shade it's the sort of shite i like and then the last thing i bought people have said they like this i hope they were right i mean they liked the more expensive version this is the i mean it's already like coming out i have opened this this is the foreo ufo mini so this is basically a skincare device you put your face mask in here and you put the thingy on well you could use theirs although you can use others which is why i bought the others because their masks are expensive um and it basically i think it heats up and uses light is what i've read L led thermo activated smart mask and inside you do get one of their masks which I didn't know you got. This is the hydrate. This is my make my day hydration one. It's got hyaluronic acid and red algae in it, um, which I thought was quite cool. But they gave you one. I mean, if you were taking this somewhere, you could just take one. I mean, I'm not gonna take it to my boyfriend's later, but I might do it after I take all my makeup off because I'm gonna be filming a video of all these. Well, not all the skincare, hair care stuff, but some of the other bits. <laughs> and um i might try i might use this after i take that makeup off as well so that might be cool and then you also get which i thought was cool a little stand for it i mean i'm not going to display it with the bloody stand i'm just going to keep it in my drawer but you know if you want to display it you can and then it also comes with a charging cable and instructions so i'm going to keep the charging cable in my little um cable thing next to my bed so i wonder if this i wonder if you can charge your foreo with this your um luna i've got a luna mini 3 now as well but yeah i also have i've put it to the app but i haven't but you you on the app it's strange that you um that you can you can do it um you can put in like what masks they have for like a more customised experience but I guess if say you had a mask that was like I mean I probably wouldn't use these ones as such but um you could maybe use something like this um or it, this one says well what is this one for I don't even know moisturising you could maybe put that one as, as the moisturising one and do it that way I don't know I don't know how you use this with normal masks but I like sheet masks anyway I don't really use them because I don't ever buy them but I bought loads so whenever I order some stuff on Beauty I always order sheet masks just me okay yeah I thought that was pretty cool um I mean I'm not going to use the stand but the stand's cool too I mean you could probably stand Luna on it as well so each to their own so there's that um so the next box is exciting because i i've already like oh my god this bra <laughs> have i told you my bra's annoying me today yeah, i think i have um the next bit's the cult beauty bit so they had a deal where if you it was like an august goodie bag thing um and you got it for free so if you spend 150 pounds you get this bag for free and it's worth over 270 pounds I mean, I don't quite believe that, but, you know, each their own. Which, this is the bag, and I will go through it. It just says cult beauty on it. You could use it for anything. I could use it for toiletries with my boyfriends, but I'm going to keep everything in here. In here. 
Um, I'll show you guys that in a minute. So, really exciting. I got a milk product. Actually, I've got two. Um, this is the Milk Hydro Rip Primer. This has been out of stock for ages. And I have wanted this for a while. Um, but, yeah. This is my first milk product. And it, will be the, it won't be the only one. This is, I love the fact that this is um, an air pump. And also, how many mils? It's 45 mil rather than your standard 30. So that's good. I'm so hungry. I'm sorry to eat at McDonald's at downstairs. <laughs> I haven't even tried this on the back of my hand, but I'm going to try it in that video that I mentioned about. Um, and we'll test it out and everything. So, yes. I then got... I then got something that I've wanted for a while because of Sophia's nails, but the only place I can find it was Colt Beauty. It's the Lano Lips 101 ointment in strawberry. I've tried the rhubarb, wasn't a huge fan, but this one I think might be better. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll try it in that video again. So, um, and then I got. Where is it? I got the. I've got um, a couple of Anastasia brow products. I've never tried Anastasia brow products. What is wrong with me? And I have Anastasia stuff. Well, I've got a palette and that's it. So I got the um, Brow Wiz. I got it in the shade. Why is there a cut out a hole? Oh, that's a sticker. Never mind. Where's the shade of this? Oh, medium brown. And then I got the Duo Brow Gel. No, the Dip Brow Gel, sorry, in medium brown as well. I'm very excited to try both of these. I've never tried Anastasia products, like brow products, so I'm very intrigued. The, more so by the brow gel, actually. Um, I don't know why, but I'm using a Benefit brow product at the moment. But I might, I'll try this out in that video, and then I'll use up the rest of the Benefit one first, I think, because I've had that open for a while. And then I got something else from Milk. I got... I've wanted this for a while as well. This is the Milk Flex Highlighter in the shade Iced. I mean, packaging. I mean, a little thing. Look at it. Come on. Oh, wow, you can't even see it. Oh, it's somewhere there. It's, I don't know if it's gonna be too dark for me or not. Maybe I should have got a different shade, but I'm excited to try it, and if I don't like it, I'm going to give it to my friend, who's also obsessed with makeup. Well, I'm not obsessed as I am, but, like, she likes makeup, and she could probably use with a proper highlighter in her collection, so. Then I got something I've wanted for a while again. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturiser. This is 16 as well. Like, why are all these products so much, like, so much bigger than normal standard sizes? I haven't tried this yet. I haven't even squirted it out yet. I think I'm gonna, I don't know whether to wait until my other day moisturiser is run out or just switch that it, this in for that because that one wasn't that expensive. Oh, I like the packaging. Oh, it's like cool feeling. I like the fact that there's a pump for ease of use. I mean, I think I might just use it instead of my moisturiser because it's a, in, like I've got currently because it's a simple moisturiser. It's not like it's expensive. Um, and I could always use that as like a makeup base as well because it's like a mattifying moisturizer but i like the sound of this this does sound really nice um i love the packaging as well like it's got like watermelons inside like come on it's so nice and it says on it um quench your skin with ultra cooling fresh watermelon juice yes i will please um but yeah i wanted to try um these guys for a while <clears throat> I wanted to try some of their other products as well, but I thought I'll try a day moisturiser first before I try any of their other products. And then I've got two very exciting things. They're basically the same thing, but um, I've got on recommendation from someone. So I said to someone at work that I was going to make a cult beauty order. What should I get on a recommendation? And they said the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Powder. I've got the shade Pound Cake. Can I talk about how this is presented? It's very cool. Um, I am very excited to try this. Um, oh wow! It's like all in the top. Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh Jesus! Okay, well, we're keeping that on there. But yeah, um, people have recommended this to me. This gives me like 
Maybelline Fit Me Loose powder vibes. I haven't tried that because it's not available in the UK. Come on, Maybelline. Um, but I'm very intrigued to try that. Another makeup obsessed person that I like. And then, this is exciting. I've wanted this for years. Not Well, not years, but I've heard about it for years. And I've never bought it because it's always been out of stock. Like on boots when i made my recent boots order it was out of stock this is the laura mercier translucent loose setting powder everyone raves on about this stuff and i'm so happy to have it in my hands this is 29 grams as well how much is this one 20 this is a big old pot everyone raves on about this i'm so excited to try this in that video i might do half and half with the powders but I recently also re-bought, repurchased the Fenty powder, like the loose powder, because I love it. And I'm almost out of my one. It's like literally got like a use left out in it. And then the last thing I got was a very big, very, very, very big purchase. And it was a very big treat yourself girl item. And I'm so excited to try this. This is the Natasha Denona Bieber palette. I cannot tell you how fucking excited i am for this fucking palette this is 111 pounds i was gonna get one of the like the smaller less expensive ones but i thought when am i gonna use it like i was gonna get the sunset right sunset sunrise one sunset i think but when am i gonna use those shades so i bought the neutral one <laughs> This is so pretty. This is going to be my autumn palette. Because look at that shade called Prairie. Look at all of the neutrals. Like, come on. I mean, the only shade in here, the only two shades I don't think I'm going to use too much are Spot and Sculpture. But I mean, I could try to use them. I need to stop buying eyeshadow palettes because I need, I wanted to do a project pan. But this pan is massive i feel like the shade the pans sizes are massive like how big are the pans i don't know i honestly have no idea but i haven't even swatched this palette yet and i don't want to until i do the video Got those little marks on the mirror already is there like a no it's not a plastic sheet of the mirror can you see already look I mean, I'm not going to use the mirror, but... Oh, it's just so pretty. Right, okay, I need to stop obsessing. This is heavy, and also, there's a little pokey out holes in the back of these palettes, so you can take the shades out and put them in a different palette, which I thought was really cool, in case you don't want to use all the shades in one palette, or you want to make your own. I mean, I've seen people make their own, and I want the ones that people have made. So yeah, and then the last thing I got was the, yeah, the Cult Beauty goodie bag. So I'm just going to tip everything out on the floor and then put it all back as I show you guys. So bear with. So we have got some sheet masks. Where's the other one? We've got the, I can't say this, I think it's Patchology Hydrate Mask. We've got the 111 Skin sub-zero depuffing energy face mask we've then got the wishful so the huda beauty chin lift mask intrigued <clears throat> i'm gonna speed through these you've probably seen people do things i've got like loads of little pamphlets as well like the little cards from some of the products i've then got the cult beauty um like their cotton pads i might take these to my boyfriends actually rather than taking cotton pads because you can wash these you can wash them in the bag and there's five in there i think yeah which i thought was really cool i wanted some of these something like this for a while i just never got around to buying them and then something really boring is the well not really boring but like it's the molten brown uh shower gel in the fiery pink pepper scent fragrance it smells quite nice i mean <laughs> um we've then got a brush set like from zoeva this is just a little travel brush set i mean look at the little ooh, cute. um i then got a mini ren 
overnight recovery balm some of these things i don't know what they do and i'm gonna to have to google them before i even try them because i have no idea cult beauty is a place that i don't know what the bloody hell is going on <laughs> um but cult beauty is a brand that i want to i shop that i want to purchase from more this is the sand and sky australian pink mark clay mask i might take this to my boyfriends with me because i want to take a face mask but like i don't know and i want to try it actually i know i'm gonna wait till i use my liar skin one up first then i'll use it but i did want to purchase a full size of this but they've got a mini so i thought i might try it because the original was like 41 pounds then we've got the pie light work rose hip cleansing oil a little mini which will be quite which will come in handy when my mini travel size versions of my of my cleanser have run out i've then got the alginist this is apparently really good the alginist genius collagen calming relief thing balm i don't know but yeah that this is what it looks like it's tiny at least these are good for like traveling because you get minis but i then got the augustinus badder rich cream apparently this is amazing and apparently it's really expensive this is the expensive thing in here I mean, it could be better packaging, but, you know, I'm one of those people that likes packaging. We've then got a mini It Cosmetics Confidence in Your Beauty Sleep Transforming Pillow Cream. It's really cute. I do have a mini of the Ola Henriksen Cream, which is the one I'm taking with me to places like my boyfriend's and, like, when I went on holiday, like a mini weekend holiday. But if, when I run out of that, I might, use, I might try this. Um, we've then got... A mini Briogeo Don't Repair, Don't Despair Repair Mask. I really wanted to try this actually as well, but this is expensive, so I'm glad I got that. I then got oh a mini Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream Light. Look, okay, I've already opened this one somewhere. Anywhere, I have opened this. I swear. Just rip the box, why don't we? Look how cute, and look, it's got a pump. And it's tiny, it's like a 5ml version. This would be also be cool to take with you on holiday or something. But And then I got, this is really cool, and I'm really actually intrigued to try this. This is the Malian and Goat's Bergamont deodorant. It's a mini stick natural deodorant. It smells quite nice, actually. I'm really intrigued. I might take this, my, I was about to say I might take this to my boyfriend's, but I've got another one to use first. We've then got a mini quarterly uh clear skin purifying toner this is also really cute did i smell this already this is like really florally but i don't know if i'm gonna like it but we can try it um and then we've got a brand called odyssey it's the bl and c pimple balm thing i don't oh no it's not a balm it's a serum I'm actually kind of intrigued. I don't know how like, expensive that is normally. This is where I find out that things in this in this bag are really expensive. And I got a mini NARS powder power matte lip pigment in the shade Star Woman. This looks like a really nice red. I'm not gonna lie. I actually haven't swatched it on my hand yet, but it looks really nice. Let's take some off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh mm, I'm not just saying that. Look how pretty okay i'm gonna have to wear this i could always wear this at work for christmas and like bring it with me in my bag it's small and then we've got a full size of the inner sense hydrating hair mask um this looks this is massive i'm intrigued i like hair masks as you can probably tell from the amica one and the other four or five i've got in my uh stash and the last thing which i thought was really cool and these are actually really expensive this is a full size of the natasha denona eyeshadow palette they're five eyeshadow palette this one's in i can't remember what shade it is or what number it is oh number 12 this is a purpley one i mean i don't know how much i'm going to use it it's got one matte and four shimmers. This is the only matte. Um, it's got two golds, which look identical to each other, and a purple gold and a this cool colour. I like the packaging of these. I like that they, they like they're magnetic-ish. 
um but yeah that's everything i got in my cult beauty and beauty bay haul i hope you enjoyed i've been filming for too long today i feel like i've been talking to myself um i'm gonna go and eat my mcdonald's and then i'll see you guys in the next video oh that lipstick's already drying down it's pretty um and i'm gonna try those things in the next video um i hope you guys enjoyed so bye <laughs> this video is way too long already jesus it's like half an hour long